Hello everyone. So in this session, we will be discussing related to jump and label instruction in TIA portal. When the CPU is executing any program, it will move from top to bottom. It will scan it from top to bottom, right? So when you are using the jump instruction, we can skip some of the networks and then it will execute its scanning after a particular network, right? So how to use this will be seeing in this lecture, right? Similarly, this label is used in combination with jump instruction and then we have jump if not also. Okay, so all these three instructions will be discussing in this lecture, right? So jump if not is totally reverse of this jump instruction. So let us observe one by one how to use these instructions, right? So jump and label will be used together, okay? And then we'll be seeing about jump if not instruction okay so here if you are able to observe this is our jump instruction and this is jump if not and jump and label right so let me make some uh, networks first right so i'll be using one nano here okay so we'll be making some multiple networks and then we'll be observing how this jump is actually working right so i'll be uh, having this in output and then also and then i will again have this as input and then i will be using one jump instruction here now what will happen is i will also use one more no right and then again i will use one in output okay so again we will be using one more no and then one more output right so and then finally one more no and then output right so in this way we have made all this right now we'll be using this label instruction suppose in this network right so i'll be dragging it and placing it here right so in this way we have created a logic right now what happens is our whenever the jump instruction will be active okay so which whatever networks are in the influence of jump and label right so basically this jump and this la this label will be having same addresses so whatever networks are in the influence of both this jump and label instruction will not be active even if you are pressing this push button right so even if you are activating this the output will not be in the high state okay so this is how we are using that means we are actually skipping this networks and we are jumping next to the network which is containing the label instruction so all the networks below this net uh, below this label instruction okay so this is also below this network basically this uh, network is also below this jump uh, label instruction right so this network will also be active and the remaining networks below this network will also be in the active state okay even if the jump is active okay so the only thing is the network in between networks in between jump and label will not be in the active state okay and the top network will also be in the active state because it is out of the influence of the jump and label instruction right so this is how we are using this jump and similarly we will be using jump if not as well okay so let us observe uh, what will be the addresses okay so we can give simple addresses here okay so uh, let me uh, give it as i0.0 okay so this is our input okay and this is another input okay so let me this is our output so q0.0 will be the output okay now what we'll do is i'll just leave it for the timing i will give addresses to all these inputs right so i'll give the address as i0.1 here okay and here we'll be giving it as q0.1 okay similarly we'll be giving the address to this network as well so i'll be giving it as i0.2 right and this will be q0.2 right so basically q0.2 right and then in the last network what we'll do is again we'll be having this addresses that is i0.3 and this will be q0.3 right so in this way we are having all the addresses now 
we will be addressing this one okay so basically we will be giving some input addresses already we have given it as i0.3 we will be giving the fourth address as i0.4 this is the fifth address which will be using for activating this jump instruction and here what i will give is i can give anything suppose we have given a b c right a b c we can give it as a b c so basically it is in red color now but as soon as you give the same address here also basically we have given the addresses a b c here whatever you want you can give any address to this okay now the same address will be here also that will be a b c right so in this way now that we are able to see that the red mark is re uh, removed because of removal of the error okay so basically in this way we have just created the logic now what will happen i will be activating this input and this output will be in the i state okay i'll not activate this input in this input for the moment okay i'll activate this inputs and this active this outputs will also be in the high state similarly this all outputs will be in the high state okay so when the jump instruction is not in the active state all the outputs will be in the high state as per the input instructions right now when you activate this in uh, this instruction right so let me download it okay so when you activate this in uh, input instruction and uh, obviously this jump instruction will be active so whatever whatever the networks are in between jump and label that will not be active even if you are pressing this input input actually okay so even if you are activating this input this output will not be in the i state because it is in the influence of jump and label instruction that's why the plc will not scan both the inputs okay so this uh, basically this networks which are in between jump and label it will not be scanned by the plc okay so it will directly scan to the network below this label instruction right so in this way we are using this jump instruction so let me go to the online mode and observe what is going to happen okay so what are the different types required these are the outputs right now let us observe what is going to happen uh, i'll be turning on the input number one here so here we are having this input so when you are activating this input see you are able to observe that this input is in the high state this output is in the high state similarly we are activating this input then input number 2 is also in the high state okay so basically if you are able to observe yeah this one is the i0.1 right so this network is also in the high state okay so now we are pressing this one basically input number four right so it will also be in the high state if you are able to observe this will also be in the high state right similarly the last case will also be in the high state that is the fifth one uh, here also the output will be in the high state okay so this is the tag number six right so i'll be activating it and correspondingly this output is getting activated right now what will happen when you are pressing this jump instruction right so if you are pressing this jump instruction so this jump instruction is the address of i0.4 so when you are pressing this i0.4 where is the i0.4 this is the input right when you are pressing this input okay so the jump is active now right so whatever networks are in between this jump and this label instruction okay so you are able to observe that they are not visible properly okay it is not like this one the first network is see it is clearly visible but the networks in between jump and label okay are not visible properly see the difference between this network and this network now even if you activate this one okay so even you activate even if you activate this uh, input number i0.2 the output will not be in the i state okay see here if, if you are able to observe what i'll do is i'll just turn it on okay which one address i0.2 so i have activated this input but still there is no effect on the output right so this is why because we are using jump and label here okay similarly whatever the networks are in the influence of this jump and label they will not be in the active state okay so if you are able to observe we can do it right so here also we are able to observe that uh, when you are pressing i0.1 also that is this one okay so when you are pressing i0.1 then also this output is not in the high state 
now i am deactivating c now when we deactivate this uh, which one i0.4 that is the label and uh, jump instruction then automatically we are, will be able to observe that the output is in the high state see here you are able to observe that the output is in the high state so because we have deactivated the jump instruction right so again if you activate then it will not be in the high state i will be releasing it and pressing it once again okay so basically it will not be having any effect so again if you observe i am activating this uh, input number jump instruction right so which one is the jump instruction mm. this is our i0.4 right so this is our jump instruction right so i am activating it and now if you try to uh, activate this input i0.1 it will be activated but output will not be in the i state see here if you are able to observe okay even if i have activated i0.1 it is not in the high state okay so this is how we are using this jump instruction okay now let us observe how to use this not jump instruction okay so it is totally reverse of it okay when you are not activating this input the jump instruction will be in the high state okay so if you are able to observe what i'll do is i'll change this to not jump okay and then we'll be downloading it once again and observe the behavior okay so i am downloading it once again and going in the online mode okay after going to online mode let us monitor the logic so if you are able to observe it is not it is presently in the activate state okay so uh, let me turn it off once again and then observe it properly okay now what is happening here this is jump if not instruction so this will be active when this is not active okay so basically uh, when this is not given any power supply so the jump instruction will be in the active state it is totally reverse of the actual jump instruction okay so it is jump if not instruction when you are not pressing this input this will be in the high state okay so this uh, it is totally reverse okay now if this is in the active state then it will not allow this inputs this inputs to turn on this outputs okay so whatever will be in the influence of this jump and label that will not be turning on so this is how we are using this jump instruction okay so now let us observe if i am activating this input okay so i0.4 i am activating right so now what we'll do is uh, basically this is i0.4 no so i am activating this i0.4 where is the i0.4 this is the i0.4 right so i am activating this one so here if you are able to observe this is our uh, jump instruction which is uh, which is given some power supply okay so it is it is jump if not instruction which is given some power supply and and the output is not in the i state see if you are able to observe this is inactive now when this is given power supply it is in inactive state so all these instructions will be turning on when you are pressing this input okay so let me uh, write okay so this one is our input number i0.1 so i am just pressing this one i0.1 so i am just activating it so if you are able to observe this output is in the i state right similarly if you are activating this one that is i0.2 then we will be giving it as so here if you are able to observe this is also in the i state now when you are deactivating again if you deactivate this input okay so basically if you are actually activating this jump if not okay so releasing it okay so uh, basically which one this is our eighth number of input right so i am just activating it basically deactivating it and then you are able to observe that we are not allowed we are not allowed to turn it on okay even if you activate this input number i0.1 that is this address i0.1 you are not allowed to turn on the output okay so this is how we are using this jump if not instruction okay so the remaining things we'll be seeing in the next lecture